Hello and welcome to this edition of the PM week, Midweek Manna. It is December the 6th, 2023, and we are beginning a new series this month uh, during this Christmas time. And it's kind of a different uh, devotional that you would think would be during Christmas. Most people are doing Lent and things like that, or excuse me, Advent, which is what Christmas is about. But I wanted to look at the inner healing of, our, uh, of ourselves. So this month, we will be looking at a series called Courageous and Free, Journey of Inner Healing. And I picked this in particular during this time because Christmas is very challenging for many of us in our world. Many people uh, have lost family members, friends, jobs, and at Christmas, those things become very pronounced that they're not there. Uh, the dinner table has a, a person missing from it. Your job has an empty cubicle. Uh, the person that you used to be with, you're no longer with. And so when we begin to think about inner healing, it's important to think about it and realize that God is still with us. So today I want to talk about how do God speak to you? Think about it. Where are the moments in your life that you hear God the most? Is it through music, uh, being out in nature, maybe looking at a picture, uh, poetry, sermons, uh, dreams? You know, God speaks to us in different ways. For me, God speaks to me through music. A sermon will touch me. Art will touch me. Nature, I live in uh, uh, Las Vegas right now. And so to drive around and see the beautiful mountains is just so amazing sometimes to me. And I just can't help but realize that God is in control of all that we see around us. And so we all have different ways of hearing from God. And so it's important to ask that question. How does God speak to you? Because when God speaks to you, you feel God's spirit within you. And you can feel at peace. Even though the world around you is going crazy, you can have that inner peace, that inner healing that begins in your life. I encourage you to slow down. I encourage you to really think about how does God speak to you. And whatever way that is, when you need an answer from God, I encourage you to do that thing. For me, I will go on a labyrinth walk and listen to music. And usually, I'll get whatever response or answer I need to uh, for maybe a question I'm having or a prayer I've been praying. But it means slowing down. I want to leave you with this scripture. Psalm 85, 8 says, Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For God will speak peace at God's people. That's us. To God's faithful. To those who turn to God in their hearts. So during this time we go through this month of inner healing. I encourage you uh, to just think uh, about what ways today that God is speaking to you. Thanks for listening. I pray that something that has been said or shared uh, will be a blessing to you. It is the evening time here where I am, so let us pray. God, as we continue to pause through, during this time of Advent, of Christmas, of anticipating the birth of Jesus in our world and in our lives once again, we ask, God, you would just watch over us. As we go through this month, God, uh, give us the strength to begin the inner healing that we need. And remind us, God, you are always there with us. I ask, God, if anyone listening uh, is hurting spiritually, that you would be with them emotionally, mentally, physically. God, whatever it is that they're feeling right now, God, just ask you would just touch them wherever they are. And let's let them know, God, that they are not alone, that you are right there with them. God, I thank you for this time. I thank you for these moments that I can share even out of my own experience. And I pray, God, we can continue this journey, not only finding out more about you, but finding out more about ourselves. We thank you and praise you in all this holy, especially in Christ. Amen and Ashe. I'll see you next week. Same time. Take care. Bye-bye.